There was a time, agriculture means it involved culture along with it. Agriculture was not… it's very nice there's a word, word culture in it, was not just about a commercial operation, it was a culture, people came together. Today's plowing means there's a plowing song. Today, tomorrow is weeding means there's a weeding song. Planting means there's a planting song, harvesting means harvesting song. For everything there was culture attached to it and there was a sense of togetherness coming together. Now that's gone and agriculture is a heartbreaking job. Nobody wants to do it in this country, believe me. They're doing it because they don't know what else to do. It's very, very important that something else is brought in, the song and dance is gone. Right now we're making a huge effort to bring back the old songs and music. Now we're teaching thousands of youth how to just beat the drums, sing a song, dance around it. We're trying to bring it back but it's very difficult because you can't just dance in your own field by yourself. Only when everybody came together to work in each of those fields which was the past, it used to happen. So agriculture has become a truly heartbreaking job and you know the number of suicides that are happening in the country. So I thought sport and little bit of music is a way of bringing some sense of joy, some sense of something to sing about, something to laugh about, something to enjoy, something to be excited about in the evening at least. Because if you go to the village now, nobody's capable of singing or dancing or anything, everything is done on the television, okay? Some film star is dancing, somebody is singing for you, everything you sit and watch, there is no more song, no more dance in the village. Tamil Nadu village which should be vibrant with drums and music and song, nothing. You will not hear a bit of song if, except the cinema song. So we're trying to bring back music, but I found bringing back sport, bringing sport into their life is so much easier and brings about much more enthusiasm. And we just started with a few twenty-five, thirty villages and it just caught on. Then it spread across Tamil Nadu and many places we did not even go. After we did about four thousand five hundred villages by our organization, after that it spread across Tamil Nadu by itself. They started their own teams and they started playing and they're asking us, can we participate in the Gramot song? <laughs> <laughs> you also play, you also play games. So tell us a little bit about that and what you see as the connection between sports and spirituality. See, any aspect of life, these things should not be separated. What people keep on asking, what is the diff uh, connection between life and love, life and spirituality, life and sport? These are all different dimensions of life. These are all different expressions of human life when someone lives intensely. If you live a tepid life, if you live a very, you know, <laughs> Uh, a life which doesn't have any intensity in it, then it'll be only about eating and sleeping and survival process. If anybody lives intensely, art will come, music will come, sport will come, spiritual process will come, it's bound to come. How will it not come? So it's about intensity and involvement. Where there's intensity, there is involvement. As I said, when Vivekananda said, you are closer to God in kicking a ball than in prayer. See, if you become practiced in your prayer, you can be praying and managing your children, you can be praying and thinking of hundred different things. But in kicking a ball, if you think about anything else, it'll not go where you want <laughs> You must be absolutely there, otherwise it won't work. So it is the intensity and involvement. Without it, there is no spiritual process. Spiritual process is the highest level of intensity and involvement. If you are involved with life intensely, you will be naturally spiritual. Spiritual does not mean looking up or looking down, exploring the nature of your existence. How can you not do that if you're intense, intense about your life? If your life matters, how can you not explore the full depth and dimension of who you are? Because that is what the spiritual process is.